Hi, Mike Griffin here with a quick overview of what MTD systems might look like in your facility. We have a systems drawing here showing uh, a, a parallel to mirrored newsroom system and you can see there are a group of video servers here stacked up in a mirrored configuration and the little display on the says 79 percent that's the amount of material versus total capacity that that machine is holding so it's at 79 percent the lower one is at 74 percent you can see this is a brocade switch and a series of raids that are attached to it and everything's looking pretty good green means that things are okay and blue is means there's some informational thing and you can look that they've done some network maintenance on this and the drawing hasn't been cleared since and you can see uh, these blue all show a network outage at the same time where they had done some maintenance normally you would have uh, green on a system which means no active message and I see one here with yellow which says uh, there was a virtual memory got up to a certain level if I double click on that machine I'll see more details about what's gone on with the history of that machine and so it got up to 80 percent and at that point it would have been set to send out an alert. It would have exceeded a threshold and would have sent an alert for uh, the personnel to check out. Over on the left is a navigation and what we're looking at now is the system drawing. If we click messages you'll see messages from all the devices interleaved in a chronological order so that you can make sense of you know is something happening on one device causing a problem that's related to another and you can see all the messages here and uh, things that have happened and sometimes the messages are uh, green level sometimes red sometimes yellow depending on the severity of the problem and of course the same thing that's showing here is reflecting uh, on the drawing and there are search tools where you can ferret out the red messages the yellow and so forth continuing on we have server free space now the video servers on the panel all showed the current level that the device was at like 79 percent and you can see here's here's one of them that we were looking at you can see it's at 79 percent usage but looking back over the course of the day here at six o'clock this morning it was at 77 percent and so forth and yesterday it was at 74 percent and likewise you can see these mirrored of, and we have a graph for all of the video servers in the system if we uh, click in on this we'll see a longer history you can see this is a weekly view and you can see how the usage went up and down on that system and a monthly view and a yearly view so you can see that they're pretty consistently using this server uh, at 70 percent of its capacity if I come to PC groups these are the PCs that relate to the same icons on the front panel and you can see uh, that we're monitoring various uh, performance parameters on the machine you can see PC performance uh, processor time being monitored here and you can see overnight the the usage goes down but during the daytime at 12 o'clock here uh, it's back up a little bit and yesterday at 6 o'clock somebody was using it pretty good uh, interrupts follows pretty much the processor time the virtual memory uh, there is no problem on this machine the memory is not being eaten up or anything it's running at about 33 percent and that looks really good and if we scroll down you can see more parameters are monitoring including the system uptime we can see it was rebooted six days ago if we click on any of these graphs you'll see the uh, performance over a year as we did with the uh, server free space so you can see that this was uh, rebooted six days ago and over the course of the last month you can see it's been rebooted several times for whatever reason and you can look over the course of the year and see that uh, what the uptime is so you could keep track of whether what you're trying to do to improve one of your systems is helped by just by looking at the uptime um, but if if we go back out to the full thing you have this history on on all of these things and so you can find out what's going on with your system in regard to uh, performance issues I've clicked over to the brocade switch here and you can see the traffic on the ports the frames and the words and uh, if if you deal with fiber switches at all these might have some meanings to you otherwise not these are uh, types some types of errors that you can have uh, on the switch but it's all tracked over time and as with the uh, PC performance likewise all with history if we look at this TX words graph you can see it get, has got fairly consistent use over the course of a year Here's another view. This is overall network status. 
and you can see everybody has a good connection for some reason uh, this connection to this particular device was a little slower this time which may not be a problem it just may mean a little traffic out on the network but if a device was constantly one of these higher colors uh, over the course of a year it might mean that you would want to check that network connection and again another drill in view of uh, one of the processors let's see we have oh, here's another nice little thing here PC config all the PCs in the system uh, have their own little page here so if we wanted to find out information about uh, what type of machine and memory deployed and patches and so forth in NVSX1 we click here and you can see these are the Microsoft uh, hotfixes that are installed these are the services that are running running and stopped services and you can see the network cards and other cards that are installed in it and at the top I missed uh, here it's got 127 megabytes of RAM a 600 mega processor so this is not uh, not too uh, new a machine but nevertheless we know everything that's on it so if you had uh, maintenance to do or configuration and needed to know if you had a certain amount of RAM for a particular machine uh, in order to install, install something new you, you would know that just by coming here you wouldn't have to go around to each of these machines uh, and check it likewise things like the event logs are there and uh, video equipment logs video equipment logs are trailed real time and sent up incrementally so within a few minutes you can look and see what that particular uh, machine is doing just by coming to this web page so that's a quick overview of what we do at MTD Systems. 